Hello teachers and staff. This short video tutorial is going to take a look at Canvas Commons. Uh, we're going to talk about a couple of reasons you might want to use Canvas Commons, whether it's backing up your own coursework or finding new content to import into your Canvas course. Uh, Commons is a great place to just kind of dive in, take a look and see what's in there. So the first thing we need to do is see the little button down here in the bottom left. It says Commons. We're going to click on this. It's going to take us to the Commons portion of Canvas. Now, the first screen we land on is the search option here, and we can search for names, titles, institutions, and tags in this box. You can make some very basic filtering options here, and you can kind of dive a little bit deeper and search for maybe quizzes only or choosing to only have Mesa Public Schools approved resources turned on and off. So that can kind of help uh, filter your results if you're having trouble finding what you're looking for. So inside of Commons, there's lots of different things that have been shared. We can just do a quick search here. Search for math, and you can see there's already 7,000 plus results for different kinds of math quizzes, uh, courses, discussions, and things like that. Um, so it's a really useful tool to finding other items and kind of seeing what's in Canvas Commons, maybe approaching curriculum in a different way that you might have not thought. So this is the search feature, is a great place to start. The next tab is the shared tab. Uh, benefit to the shared tab is when you share a resource to Canvas Commons, you can either choose to share it only to yourself or to everyone at Mesa Public Schools. Currently, it is not turned on to see uh, so that people on the internet can see what you've shared. It'll only be people inside of Mesa Public Schools or just yourself. And you can see here I've shared some things with myself as kind of a second backup for some of that um, assignments or curriculum that I might have not wanted to just only share or save on a flash drive. So that's one thing, uh, the shared button here, and you can scroll through these and see there's lots of different modules uh, and other items that I've kind of backed up for myself. Uh, under imported, we can see what uh, items I've actually imported from Canvas Commons. So this is a, a nice place to go if you've maybe imported some things prior, maybe a year or two prior, and you wanted to go back and maybe revisit those uh, remembering something you liked out of it. So that kind of saves what you've shared and imported here at the top. Additionally, when these items are updated, you can come in and update those Canvas items that you've imported by going to the updates page. And there will be some selections here that will ask you to update uh, or deny those updates. And then just like many browsers, there's also a favorite section. So you can favorite specific courses and searches that you found. So if you find something that you enjoy, let's uh, find this one here. So you can see here I've got a list, a detailed preview of what's inside of this module. Um, I've got not only that, but some details about it as well, what grade levels it's good for, who it's shared with, and uh, who can see this. In addition, it's got that favorites tab over here on the right, so I can favorite it uh, if I'd like to hold on to it. And then last but not least, there's an import and download section here. So if I click on this little icon, it asks me which course I want to import the Canvas, um, whether that's a, a module or assignment or whatnot, into. So if I wanted to import this particular course, I would select my intro to video production. And then at the very, very bottom, we would say import to course, or you have an option to simply download the Canvas um, Commons export. So kind of some cool, some cool ways to use Canvas Commons. Um, Make sure you always check in with your OIDCs because they're always on top of what's happening and what's new in Canvas. And they might have some other really cool ways for you to use Canvas Commons as well. So I hope to see you in the next video and uh, thanks a lot for stopping in.